Uh, we're looking today at a house project and we're using this site uh, which is a, a pond site, Blacktown City Council. Um, I think it's pond stage three or four or something like that. Anyway, we've got this survey and the intention is that you're going to choose one of these lots. They're all mostly the same. We see some have a different orientation. Um, to make this easy, I've highlighted one of them. This is 4111, so lot number 4111. Now, you see that there's this weird shadowy effect happening. Now, what is that? That's because when we brought this in, it is a PDF. So let's just drag this to the side. And from this PDF, we exploded it to create 2D lines. And so if I select a bit of that, we can see that these are our 2D lines. So you can choose to remove the PDF once you've finished, and sometimes I find that easiest. And what we're going to do in this case um, is move it down the bottom. So we're going to go edit, cut, down to AHD, right click, place. Now I'm left with all of these 2D lines here, and I did this just so we separate it. Sometimes, depending on how we get a file, when we explode it, we're left with some strange things, and that's just because ARCHICAD doesn't identify what they are, these little question marks. So don't be too off-put by those. I'm going to select this file, or all this information, these 2D information, edit, cut, and I'm going to place this down on the basement. Now, if you've seen some of my videos looking at trace reference before, what we're going to do uh, eventually, I'm missing a story at the moment, um, but if we turn on our trace reference or right click on ground floor, show, we're going to use this one, sorry, right click on the basement, we're on ground floor, we're going to right click on the basement and say show as trace reference. We can then see all of these lines underneath. Uh, the file is a bit slow just because there's so many lines that it's slowing it down. Once you've chosen your site, you could reduce the amount of lines that are here, uh, but the other reality is you don't necessarily need to keep them. And I'm going to use the corner here uh, for interest sake. Now, if we go down to basement, we see that we had a little bit more information and we've lost some of that information. So we have some text. And then when we go up to ground, we've lost that. If you do not see as much as you'd like to see when you've got your trace reference on, we can change that by going into the trace reference settings down the bottom, trace and reference. And then when we click on this little box over on the right hand side, we have more options. And what we can do here, we can see that we're missing text and a few others. If we can just click all types, apply settings to all references and then close, then again we can see we've got all that information. Again, that might be too much information for you, but that's how we want to see it at the moment. In the next video, we're going to have a look at how to uh, duplicate some of this information. We could extract it, but I find it's probably just as effective, if not better, just to redraw the information that we need uh, to avoid getting lots of bits and pieces. So we'll watch that in the next video.